have been a long-standing client uh, since, I think, 2002, so the last 14 years or so, uh, I've uh, been wearing hearing aids, and as I'll explain in a moment, I should have been wearing them uh, a lot before, uh, before then as well. And uh, Tim and uh, his colleagues asked me to say a few words about hearing loss, the importance of addressing it uh, early, and the, the impact that uh, it's had on the quality uh, of my uh, life. Well, uh, the first thing is people think of hearing loss and you also think of uh, uh, eyesight loss, so not in the sense of blindness, but in the sense of uh, uh, not being able to read without glasses. Uh, glasses, of course, give you 20-20 vision, uh, and you notice it pretty quickly if you don't have it. Hearing loss, uh, it takes you a lot longer to notice that uh, you haven't got it. And even after it becomes obvious, uh, a lot of people are reluctant to uh, address it. I suppose looking back, it's partly a question of vanity, uh, and it's partly a reluctance to admit that uh, you're getting old. Uh, that uh, actually uh, makes you uh, not do this. Well, of course, there are advantages to hearing loss. Uh, if you're drinking and uh, your wife says, George, uh, I think you've now had enough. You can pretend you don't hear and refill your glass. <laughs> uh, but uh, in general, the disadvantages outweigh the advantages. And uh, it's just not that you tend to miss the punchlines of jokes, which you almost always do uh, if you are hard of hearing. It's that um, uh, you tend actually to talk over people. You don't hear people talking to you. So you tend to talk over them and uh, ignore them, and you don't reply to them. It's a bit like a, a company chairman uh, that I served under who was uh, hard of hearing. And people would point this out to him at board meetings. And his reply was, well, it doesn't matter uh, if I can't hear what you're saying. What's important is that you hear what I'm saying. And uh, of course, uh, that attitude leads to arrogance and uh, in a sense, uh, not well received. But even if you do hear people uh, talking to you, you often don't hear them correctly. And uh, your reply, uh, that you make is actually completely uncorrelated, completely uh, unassociated uh, with uh, what they asked you. And in short, uh, you appear actually rather arrogant, like the company chairman, or you appear rather stupid, or both. Uh, a point that my wife used to uh, make to me on numerous occasions when we were in some social setting. Well, it wasn't my wife actually, although I gather it often is, who convinced me uh, to wear hearing aids. Uh, it was a fellow Canadian, General de Chastelain, who, as people in Belfast know and Northern Ireland know, was instrumental in the decommissioning process here after the Good Friday Agreement. And uh, one evening, several years ago, uh, my wife and I were out uh, with uh, John and his wife uh, in a Belfast restaurant. And uh, in the middle of the dinner, uh, he took a hearing aid uh, out of his ear uh, in order to change the battery, which uh, had gone dead. And I was very surprised because I didn't realize that uh, General de Chastelain uh, wore hearing aids. But as he explained, the Army, guns, etc., over his career had had a very negative impact on, um, on his hearing. And he wore them, at which point my wife piped up and said, well, of course, George uh, has great difficulty wearing uh, hearing. And John said, well, you should definitely get hearing aids. Well, I thought to myself, if General de Chastelain can wear hearing aids, George Bain can wear hearing aids, but I didn't do anything about it. A few weeks later, uh, my wife and I were out for Sunday lunch, uh, and uh, the hostess was extremely busy rushing around, uh, serving people, making sure that everything was going right. And uh, we were seated at, at the table, of course, and the lady on my right turned to me and said, the Chatelaine seems very, very busy today. And I turned to her and said, yes, indeed, the Chatelaine does seem very, very busy. And she looked at me as if I had just suffered from dementia. She said, I just asked you if you knew General de Chatelaine. Oh. And I said, well, as a matter of fact, I do. I had dinner with him a couple of weeks ago, and he told me I should get hearing aids. The next week, I began the process uh, of getting hearing aids. Well, the benefits. Uh, are great, although I always start in talking to people, I'm quite missionary about it now, uh, to manage their expectations. Glasses, as I said a little earlier, give you 20-20 vision. Uh, hearing aids 
give you better hearing, but they don't give you perfect hearing. And uh, that is the first thing, I think, to uh, bear uh, in mind. But the main problem for me, uh, and many other hearing uh, impaired people, is uh, ambient noise, noise pollution, uh, background noise. It comes from traffic, uh, it comes from air conditioning, it comes from fans, uh, it comes in particular from lots of people talking in a confined space like a restaurant, uh, a pub, or a party. And perhaps most importantly, it comes from pipe music, uh, something which uh, I'm ferociously opposed to. Uh, and indeed, there's an organization called Pipe Down, I used to be in the Navy, uh, Pipe Down, which I'm a great supporter of, campaigns against pipe music. And this makes it extremely difficult for people like me to hear what's going on. Well, I have hearing aids, you wouldn't notice that, uh, but uh, if you were standing to the right, you might, or the left. And uh, I have a little device here, which is basically a remote control for those, and it has a whole set of programs on it. I have a program for uh, listening on the telephone, I have a program for going to the orchestra and hearing music, I have a program for restaurants, I call it my restaurant program, and when I'm in a restaurant with pipe music and lots of people talking away, and minimalist decoration, so the sound is reverberating, I put that on, and there's also one that I have, you can have lots of different ones, uh, for meetings, because it's then much more focused and I can actually hear what's being said. And basically, uh, this cuts out a great deal of the ambient noise, improves my hearing, and makes me look a little less stupid. Uh, than I was uh, at the Sunday lunch. It also has another big thing that uh, you can stream. So I can connect my hearing aids directly to the TV, to my uh, mobile phone, to my CD device, uh, uh, etc., and to various other digital uh, devices. The sound comes right in uh, to my ears. Uh, perhaps the biggest one is the TV. Uh, I can listen to the TV completely audibly without having the sound at such a level in the room that it actually destroys my wife's hearing. And that is one of the biggest things. Well, let me conclude by just saying, when the ear trumpet was the only hearing aid, I think people had an excuse for not uh, actually having a hearing aid. But now that we have all these digital technologies, and I might say mine is one generation behind what Tim is going to uh, demonstrate to you, uh, in a moment, but even mine, uh, basically, uh, unless you were standing immediately to my right or immediately to my left, I don't think you would know I was wearing hearing aids. Uh, and indeed, as ever, of course, women have an added advantage with their hairstyles. If they're uh, slightly vain about wearing hearing aids, nobody should ever know that they actually have them. Uh, I think the real problem is that some people think there's a social stigma about wearing hearing aids. They associate hearing uh, impairment with intellectual impairment. Well, nothing, of course, could be further from the truth. As my story about Sunday lunch indicated, uh, if you really want to look stupid, uh, don't wear hearing aids when you actually need them. And a final reason, and I mentioned this or hinted at at the beginning, why I would strongly urge you to have hearing aids if you need them, is the maximum use it or lose it applies. Uh, once you begin to lose hearing frequencies and you don't use them for a long time, you lose them and you don't get them back, even with the advantage of hearing aids. So if I had actually acted much sooner than I did 14 years ago, my hearing impairment would be less than it is <coughs> today. So I hope you've heard what I said this morning. If you didn't, I strongly urge you to get hearing aids.